to the Garza Kitchen. Today, we've got a special treat for you. Everyone loves pizza. And my wife actually came up with this recipe. Uh, I think it was last week or the week before. Um, she was just making this pizza, you know, homemade pizza, her and our daughter, Sydney. And uh, man, it was awesome. And the more I looked at it, the more I was like, man, this is like a supportive meal. This is great. It had everything, um, you know, that, that goes with the support of eating. Had a uh, lean protein, had a starch carb, and fibrous carbs. Now, you can create your own pizza based on what it is that you like. So I'm gonna keep it real simple and just show you a real simple version. And then, you know, you can add all kind of stuff to it that um, you know that you like for the toppings and stuff. So, start off with um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right or not, but it's called Baboli, uh, the Italian pizza crust. Get the wheat version, okay? Wheat version, uh, you know, crest, uh, wherever it is you shop. But the Boboli, they're already pre-made little pizza deals. This is your starchy carb. Then you want to get the uh, pizza sauce. Try to find the pizza sauce with no sugar or low sugar. But I mean, you know, if you don't, that's fine. It'll work. But uh, just try to look. Read your labels. It doesn't hurt you to stop and read labels and try to find some that the sugar levels are real low because some of them are real high. So you need your pizza sauce. Get you a package of, you know, fat-free cheese, all right? And this happens to be mozzarella fat-free cheese. Then uh, we've used these before in wraps, the Tyson. Uh, Tyson uh, grilled chicken breast strips. These are already pre-cooked, so all you have to do is dice them up, uh, you know, so they fit on top of the pizza. Then, this is where you get creative based on what you like. Uh, we've got mushrooms, you got bell peppers, you can do onions, um, you know, it's endless on what you want to do as far as the fibrous carbs. For the sake of time, today, we're just going to simply use uh, our chicken strips, which I've taken and diced them up. Alright, and then uh, I took some mushrooms, diced them up, you know, just like a pizza, you want to fit on top of the, the pizza as a topping. Okay, following Kim's instructions, the first thing we're going to do is uh, find a way to open this guy up. And I got a perfect way to do that with some scissors. So we're going to get one of these guys out. Okay. Now, there's a, a side to this that the lip is up. And Kim had to tell me this, that will hold the sauce. So, you know, the side that's flat and bent down, you want to turn it over. So we're going to put it here. Let me bring this down so you can see it better. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Where are we at? All right, here we go. We're going to zoom it down there. Okay, so you have the top here. You got the lip right here. Now you're going to take your sauce. And she says to spread the pizza sauce on the crust uh, like so. And, you know, I like a lot of sauce. I like, if I ordered pizza out um, on cheat day, I would tell them to put extra sauce on there. Because I don't want my pizza dry. So we're going to put the sauce, spread it around there, just like that. Okay. Secondly, um, she puts on the cheese. The fat free cheese goes on. So we're going to sprinkle it like so. Okay. And you can put more cheese on there if you like. It's according to you know, how you like it. Put your cheese on there. Okay, next you're gonna put on your topping. So we're gonna start putting on our chicken. So just sprinkle that on top there. I'm telling you, when I ate this, it was incredible. It was just full, it wasn't just crushed. You know how you get those pizzas just with a lot of crust? So when you make it yourself, you can really make it good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on mushrooms. And personally, that's all I really like on my pizza. I'm not a big bell pepper guy or onions and all that. But again, you can, uh, you know, you can cut this bell pepper up, add bell peppers, add onions. But then, as a final topping, you're going to top with more cheese on the top there. Okay. All right. So next, all we have to do, let me bring this down so maybe you can see it a little bit better. There you go. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, that took me all of what, five minutes there? I've got my starchy carb, then we've got our sauce, then we have our 
protein, which is the chicken, and then our fibrous carb are the mushrooms, and then we put the fat-free cheese on there. Next thing you want to do is you're going to uh, preheat your oven, and you're going to bake 8 to 10 minutes uh, on 450 degrees. And of course, as always, this will be in your uh, package, uh, the actual recipe itself, and um, the instructions and all that stuff, how to put it together. But simply put it in the oven at 450, 8 to 10 minutes, melt the cheese, heats up the chicken, everything's good. Hey, voila, you got to support a meal, and tell me that's not good. Game day, if you wanted to eat right on game day, there you go. You can get the bigger pizzas and make a full-fledged, supportive meal uh, pizza. I think she calls it the healthy and uh, fit pizza, something like that. So anyway, hey, that's your recipe for the month. I love you. Um, hope this is good stuff for you. I hope you'll use it, tell other people about it, and I'll see you next month.